Hello, thank you for watching the Kempler Design Vlog. We are doing an update today because there's some really big news. As of November 2nd, 2022, which was just a couple days ago, there was a big announcement from the uh, Consumer Product Safety Commission, CPSC. It's a lot of letters. It it's is. A and not only is it a mouthful, it's got a lot of information that we need to share with you because we've been talking about what was going to potentially happen with this ever since March of this year. And it's already taken place in other places. But what we're going to do right off the bat is just read exactly what they sent out. The title is CPSC. Remember, it stands for Consumer Product Safety. So they're very interested in safety of people. So here's what they approved, the new federal safety standard for custom window coverings to prevent deaths and serious injuries from strangulation. Window covering cords now deemed a substantial product hazard. And just so you can see, that's a lot of information. And now April is gonna read for us, if you, unless you wanna say something first. Well, I was about to count the do a word count of that title but i didn't want to waste any valuable time but it's a lot of words i of words. i would never no one would write a sentence with this many words in it okay but let's read what they said on november 2nd 2022 okay washington dc in an effort to reduce the risk of strangulation deaths and serious life-threatening injuries to children from corded window coverings the u.s Consumer Product Safety Commission voted today by a vote of four to zero to approve a new federal safety standard for operating cords on custom window coverings. Custom window coverings include shades, blinds, curtains, drapery, or other cord operated products created to a consumer specifications. The commission also approved a new federal safety rule that added non-compliant window covering cords to CPSC's substantial product hazard list. Young children can quickly and silently become strangled on pull cords, continuous loop cords, inner cords, or any other accessible cords longer than eight inches on window coverings. On average, about nine children under five years of age die every year from strangling in window blinds, shades, draperies, and other window coverings with cords, according to CPSC's latest data. The new rules address the risk of strangulation, deaths, and injuries to children eight years old and younger on all types of window cords. Yeah, and there are then two separate points that are brought out, a point one and point two. One has to do with custom window coverings, and the other one has to do with stock and custom window coverings. So it's honestly a little confusing to me as to understand which is which. My take on this is that reading the, what they're broken down into, it's the established performance requirements for safe operation of window coverings that are custom. And then the second one, stock and custom window coverings, is the inner cords on, on custom window coverings. So they're they're... It's the outies and the innies. <laughs> yeah. Both. And, and honestly, it doesn't... It doesn't break it down yet, so it's hard to say exactly what it stands for, but here's the part that struck me the most. According to custom window coverings, which is all that we personally do, the new rule goes into effect 180 days after publication in the Federal Register. So the Federal Register, my understanding is how things end up, like this is definitely what it is because it's been put out publicly. Well, it says after that date, so 30 days after publication. Right. So Hold on another... just one second. We're talking about it here 180 days for custom window coverings, and we need to pause because April's jumping ahead to the next point. Um, at 180 days, that means basically if this is the take for custom window coverings, that it's not going to go into actual effect around until May 1st, 2023, if that's the case. But the second point that you were talking about, what is the time frame on that? That's 30 days after that is published. So that's just an additional 30 days after the 180 days is my, t my understanding. Well, this one says the new rule goes into effect 180 days after publication in the Federal Register. 
The second point in regard to stock and custom window coverings, which was point number two, it says this rule goes into effect 30 days after publication in the Federal Register, not after the 180 after days. After that date. For one to that point. Okay. We have it's two different opinions on this. I feel very solid that part of this is going into effect 30 days, basically from now. So essentially uh, sometime in December but I'd be happy to be totally wrong about it. Uh, but I believe that some of this is gonna come down immediately. That's the way I see it. The bottom line is that we all want safety. I want safety for my clients and the people in charge of this. What, In fact, what did the CPSC say as far as what they recommend for people? It says they urge consumers to choose cordless window coverings. And this is, including draperies. And so you know how people have the little pulley uh, pull system and the pulley at the bottom is all attached to the wall. So I had the question, what does this mean for drapery? Uh, mm -hmm. How you open them? Every single product is going to have the same issue. So any type of cord, again, we've talked about this and we'll, we'll put a link on this to one that we uh, talked about in March. But the bottom line is that no type of cord longer than eight inches is going to be allowed and exposed. So that means that a lot of things are changing. And to add to that, I did a little research about what happened less than a year ago in Canada when their regulators came up with these effects. And I'm just gonna read from some of the things that came out then. Corded window covering must follow strict regulations and requirements beyond this date. So at their date was May 1st, 2022. And there are all kinds of laws that involved for them, but what is involved? The requirements apply to continuous loop lift cords. I talk about it as being a chain on a bicycle. And as long as I've been in business 30 years, these have been a natural thing where they loop but they're worried that the attachment from the top to the bottom would be big enough that a child or a pet can get caught in there. So they are wanting to eliminate that with the exception of having eight inches of drop, which isn't very practical, but we'll see. The next thing that they're going to talk about um, are inner cords. Like for example, the ones that run in through a slat in a blind, so we talked about that in the past. Watch the previous video because uh, we talked about how they're doing that. And other type products would be Roman shades because a lot of them, not all of them, there's some new technologies out there. They have cords that run down the backside. Top down, bottom up shades, which it, this is gonna be the biggest thing. I talked to somebody in Canada in the, in the meantime. And by the way, please, if you, live in Canada, or if you have information on any of this stuff that can help people to understand it better, please leave some comments or we can even set up a online visit so that we can share information that will be helpful to anyone. But one of the things that they were doing in Canada is when you had a top down bottom up shade is they were putting a sheer fabric over the cords so that the cords themselves were not accessible. I have, I've never actually seen it. I've heard it talked about. So share a picture or something like that, just so we can see what that's like. It's an option. Another one that's affected here, skylight shades. How would a child get up there in the ceiling is a good question, but... No, I agree with you, <laughs> totally. <laughs> well, maybe people are holding their children well, up and... I know I remember your niece used to climb the walls like Spider-Man, <laughs> and so it could happen, that's it true. could happen. <laughs> Good. So anything that has a cord that's dangling is going to be eliminated. I mean, obviously things have been for years attached to the bottom of the window on those long cord types. And in fact, some products, I don't want to get into brands at all, but they've replaced cords with uh, sticks, batons, wands, whatever you want to call it. So they've made a lot of changes over the time. Uh, yeah, we've been edging towards this for a long time, especially motorization's been taking over. That's an option 
not uh, hopefully that the cost of motorization can come down so that most people can have it accessible in their home because I think motorization is safe. This is crooked. Safe. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're you're absolutely right. Motorization has become a really big thing. Like in our clientele, it's efficient and fun, but it's also very safe. So there are products that are going to be completely eliminated. They were in Canada and chances are they will be here too. Think about this for a second. The top down, bottom up shades, which we talked about. Pleated shades, those are the ones where you have the pleats, but the cord runs up in between. So therefore it's got an exposed cord all the time, Shh, gone. Um, it's been kind of gone from the industry for a while, to be honest. Mini blinds. I remember mini blinds when I was, you know, in the early 70s, I had mini blinds. My dad worked at a mini blind fabricator in the 50s in New York. Yeah, Venetian blind. Gone. But, you know, we're seeing the advent of, of vertical blinds and they, they're not on the do not use list. That's true. So perhaps there could be some innovation in that area with the vertical treatment uh, because that's was a thing it went away but now it's a th maybe a thing again i think there's some potential for some real creative window coverings here and i think it could be a really good thing we we certainly want every aspect of our home to be safe i often wonder how you and i survived childhood <laughs> to make it to this this day this age uh so yeah it, we need to have our homes be a place of peace and safety yeah so my big concern is not really for us per se, because we just provide products to our clients and the manufacturers are the ones who have to go through all the rigmarole. Yeah, this. they're the think tanks here. Not, they just, mm -hmm. we're just waiting to be told and shown what, what is available. Mm -hmm. So with that, we hope that a lot of them are ahead of the game and coming up with new solutions. And I would encourage you, if you've got some brilliant idea, let us know. Uh, we're happy to promote it for you. If you have some new way of, I don't know, some sort of clutch system where you have a short cord, but it's going to operate, you know what, it could go a million different directions. I just wanted to share this information with everybody because the window covering industry is going to go through a revolution right now. And as a result, um, we all just need to be aware of it because child safety is important. And regulations happen whether we like them or not. We have to uh, learn how to adopt to them and to be able to move forward all together. Adopt them and adapt to them. I think you created a new word. Ooh, adopt, adapt. <laughs> anyway, please provide some feedback. Uh, we would love some comments as to your take on it, especially if there's something we're, we're missing. This is brand new. Remember, it came out November 2nd and today is November 6th. So uh, thank you for taking your time and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching the Kempler Design Vlog.